so this is the story of how one problem that developed the other morning has been traced back to become actually a fairly significant problem with both my fifth wheel batteries and with a device called a converter which until a couple of days ago I could not have told you what it was or what it did I actually knew where it was <laughs> I had run into it and I'll show it to you but here's the story first of all I got up early in the morning and you see my climate control here I turned up the heat I usually push it up to around 63 early in the morning uh, just to get a little more heat in the coach um, especially if it's been a chilly night and that night it had gotten down into the 20s which for steamboat is kind of normal for mid late April uh, the furnace kicked on and within a few moments it kicked off so I went for the most likely culprit and that culprit was I don't have it anymore it just got picked up this morning but you can see the 120 gallon tank that my neighbor has next door and uh, that 120 gallon tank had served me well throughout the course of the winter and I had been tracking its progress and I figured okay great finally gave up the ghost and ran out of gas and no big deal so I went out here and uh, behind this door are my gas bottles um, two 30 pound bottles and I simply disconnected the um, uh, disconnected the uh, big tank the 120 gallon tank and then reconnected my 30 pound bottle and proceeded to start up the furnace and it ran for about 20 30 seconds and the, the system never fully came on it shut off so I did a little bit of research on that and realized that since uh, it was my belief that the big tank had run out of uh, gas that I may have pushed some air through my system and based on pushing air through the system well I was advised turn on and off your uh, your furnace several times your your thermostat and uh, run the um, uh, gas burners on the stove and that should fix it well all that happened then is later on the same day the switch on the uh, comfort control right here the switch right there that you can see um, wouldn't even work so when I switched it on I was getting nothing so I figured alright great I've gone from uh, uh, bad to worse <laughs> well so what it, what it turned out happening was um, I started tracing my 12 volt system because I want you to understand there's a lot of things that run on 12 volts and at the moment they're all off and you'll see why uh, the hot water heater is off the furn the uh, refrigerator is off all right right here the refrigerator is off um, the LP detector over here does not work naturally the fans and any of the lights will not work when your 12 volt system is not on so probably the biggest deal right now is that the refrigerator is not working so my backup is this uh, Wally World 40 quart refrigerator it's got my uh, meat in there keeping it frozen and uh, I've got some steaks in there and I've also got some fresh produce while I'm standing over here I'll mention that this is uh, one of the products that I have on my website arginine infusion I uh, don't want to do a real commercial right now but I will tell you the stuff's real good its uh, purpose is for cardio health and for lowering blood pressure and lowering your risk of heart disease but you can take a look at a link down below on uh, that so my point is that a lot of things run <laughs> off of your 12 volt system and when the 12 volt system is failing then they won't run so what controls the 12 volt system well if we go in here this is my underbelly storage bay and you see that box right here it's a uh, WFCO uh, 75 amp power converter and as I understand it this device uh, will do two things this device will uh, power my 12 volt systems inside and it will also keep my batteries charged up so that it goes in both directions uh, it's got two 40 amp fuses on the bottom they seem to be okay uh, it's got a fan on the top we check the voltage going into it it's getting 120 volts because its job is to convert 120 volt AC to 13.6 DC and the reality is it is dead as a doornail now why did that happen well it appears I'll take you around to the side here that 
and I apologize to everything it looks like spring cleaning, but that's what it looks like right now. This is my storage bay for my batteries. And what you see here are two empty battery cases because at the moment, these, these are six volt AGM golf cart style batteries that I spent a lot of money on about two and a half years ago. And it was at a time where I thought I was gonna be doing a lot of, uh, uh, of dry camping, boondocking if you will. So I figured I was gonna be out and needing my furnace to work in colder weather. Well, as it turns out, that's not the way my lifestyle has evolved. Most of the time I'm at a campground, I'm connected to 120 volt uh, AC through the pedestal at the uh, campground, and that's all wonderful, except for the fact that these batteries have probably gone bad. They are currently at the moment over at Napa being checked out, and uh, Napa is both charging them and doing a load test on them. And should they fail, I'm gonna go back to an inexpensive, as I call it, a POS, a uh, 12 volt battery that's going to run me about 80 bucks and that's going to be a deep cycle and that's it uh, just a simple sulfuric acid battery I'll have to put distilled water into the uh, cells periodically but the bottom line is that's what I'm going to use if these two very expensive batteries they were about $250 each fail all right um, so for the last three days though I've been using this trickle charger to keep my 12 volt systems alive because the batteries were not charged up enough and it looks like they're not holding a charge and the converter is dead as a doornail so the only thing that was going to supply 12 volts to my interior which again we're talking about the refrigerator working we're talking about the furnace working those are the two most important things to me since uh, the night uh, nighttime uh, the early morning low the other morning was as low as about 20 and uh, obviously I've got a lot of food in the refrigerator. So the bottom line is, um, this is go going to get resolved. I have this part coming in from a company and I'll, I'll give you the name and information on the company. I was gonna order it from Amazon, but uh, the supplier at Amazon was unable to uh, prove to me they could deliver it as quickly as these other folks. Um, I'll give you the link for the other folks down below. The, and if you're finding this on YouTube, of course, go over to rvacrossamerica.net and you'll find the post, all right? You'll find the post dealing with this. So anyway, I wanted to give you uh, the overall picture. And uh, if you have any questions or if you have any insights or thoughts, I'd love to hear them. Alan Sills signing out.